Good enough. New intro in five, four, three, two. Hey guys, it's Woody here, or welcome to another edition of the Weekly Marvel Mingle, and as always, we will be discussing all things going on in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Let's get right into it. Hope you enjoyed that new intro. Thought I would um, add some new clips in there with the release of Infinity War, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Hope you are too. Leave your thoughts below on that. So let's start with the TV side of the MCU. We got some little teases of Daredevil Season 3. Um, we got this little missing poster of Matt Murdock, and it looks like they're really teasing the fact that, you know, Matt, Mur Matt Murdock is missing, but the Daredevil, you know, he's he's out there. And this is my first look at the uh, Season 3 teaser. So, this is my reaction on the Marvel Mingle. Once again, you'll be seeing smaller reactions like this on the channel. But let's do this. Alright. I once believed that justice could be found in a court of law. And in the light of day. But I was fooling myself. Darkness only responds to darkness. And the truth is, I'd rather die as the devil than live as Matt Murdock. Wow. Wow. Well, that is something. Wow. I'd rather, did you just say, I'd rather die as the devil than live as Matt Murdock? That is deep. I'm very excited for Daredevil season three. Now, Iron Fist season two is out, and while I still have not even started, I still have to finish Luke Cage season two. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish up this video, and then I will finish, hopefully, Luke Cage season two, and then hop on to Iron Fist season two. But let's jump into the movies. We got some Avengers 4 set photos. They are doing some reshoots. We have some photos right here. And uh, Chris Evans has his Captain America original hairstyle uh, from the promo art. We got Paul Rudd in there. We see that uh, Black Widow has her original hair, well, sort of original hair back. It's more of a red, um, but you can kind of see that the blonde is like fading out uh, from the bottom. So that's interesting. We also have a CGI character. Some are saying it might be a Chitauri soldier. Um, but yeah, that's pretty darn cool. Also, we have learned that John Slattery, who plays uh, the older Howard Stark in the MCU, has filmed scenes with Robert Downey Jr. Now, this could very well be for Avengers 4 with these reshoots coming in. What would be awesome is, you know, we know, I mean, this would make sense because the whole time travel thing um, coming into play. Is Tony finally going to, you know, meet his father as his adult self? Is he going to be able to say one final goodbye to kind of clear things up with his father? You know, maybe this could be one of those things where it's like he... He goes back in time, he gets this chance to talk to his father one final time and then you know it all gets, maybe that timeline gets erased or something or um, some alternate timeline. You never know. But um, that'd be really cool because you know, he's had a rocky relationship with his father. And remember back, back in Civil War after he literally watched the video of his parents being assassinated by Bucky. As he was attacking Bucky he said, you killed my mom. You know, obviously he didn't say his dad. so. Um, you know, still kind of, still, you know, he, he has that rocky, complicated relationship with his father even after his death, and this could maybe clear it up, uh, you know, tie off that loose end, which I think would be really cool. Alright guys, now into some Captain Marvel stuff. We do know that Ben Mendelsohn is playing Talos, uh, you know, one of the scrolls, and he has revealed, uh, seemingly, that he will be disguised as a big shot at S.H.I.E.L.D., so that uh, is pretty cool. I'm actually very excited for our first Captain Marvel trailer coming in the next month, hopefully. And our last little piece of news here, we have a rumor 
Um, and take this with a grain of salt, obviously. Some people are saying that Marvel is looking at Guy Ritchie to direct a Captain Britain and Black Knight film. Now, we know that Kevin Feige, um, you know, he has said that he has, you know, the next 20 or so movies in the MCU planned out. Um, so, you know, you never know. They're always trying new things. This could be the case. But that would be cool nonetheless. That wraps up this week's Marvel movie. I hope you enjoyed just remember, guys, it's all connected. <sighs>